All right, welcome back to another episode of Unbelievable Grails, where today we begin building my very first grail, my dream bike as a kid. I'm super pumped. It's a 1983 Diamondback Harry Leary Turbo, and today we're going to begin by opening this mystery package. Check this out. All right, so I had a blast building the 84 Redline RL20, the 88 RL22 Pro Styler, the 85 Performer, the Vans Tribute Bike, the Mike Dominguez Tribute Bike. Man, all of those were a blast, but nothing pumps me up more than building this 1983 Diamondback Harry Leary Turbo. I remember as a kid walking into Boyd's Bicycle Shop, seeing the Holy Grail sitting up on the shelf. It sat there for years. I mean, in my hometown of Bristol, Tennessee, nobody's buying a $500 bike back in the day. Always wanted one, thought I'd never get one. And then finally, Eric Malacky, dude, you hooked me up. I'm thankful for a killer deal. He sold me the frame fork and the stem at an unbelievable price and I'm truly truly grateful hey let me show you what we've got thus far and then I will open this mystery package and um, I haven't even seen it yet so my mind's about to be blown check this out. all right here's the frame fork and stem that my good friend Eric Malaki hooked me up with much props bro I greatly appreciate it I realize there are no diamondback bikes that have these diamond cut hoops but most of you know I do everything custom. So I'm super excited about chroming those and then lacing them with these hubs that Jason Sharp hooked me up with. Thank you very much, my friend. I have a good friend up in Dayton, Ohio, who sold me these MKS pedals. That's gonna be awesome. And then I found this seat at the Midwest show in Crown Point, Indiana. Chad McDonald actually sold me the the actual material that goes on the diamondback seat and so i'm going to have that recovered these are repop pads and that's all right with me and then my good friend john mcdougall whose actual name is something else he sent me a link to these uncut 30 inch diamondback harry leary turbo bars on etsy of all places i couldn't believe it got a killer deal on those then I've also got an NOS seat post clamp, NOS still in the package, totally jazzed about that. And then I've got brakes and levers. So I've obviously got some parts I've got to find that'll be in upcoming episodes. So let's go ahead and open this mystery package and uh, we're gonna see what's inside. I'm super excited about this build as you can tell and I'm really pumped about this series of videos Be sure to like and subscribe to the unbelievable grails videos and you'll get all the updates So in future episodes, we're going to be sending off parts for chrome I'll be powder coating the frame fork and bars myself We're gonna recover the seat and see what that looks like Obviously, I've got to find more parts and then ultimately we're gonna build this bad boy and it's all gonna be caught on video Yeah I'm super excited about it. So let's go ahead and open up this mystery package and we'll see what we have to add to the parts list at this point. Super, super excited. All right, let's do this. So most of you know the cranks are the hardest thing to find. So when Eric Sullivan, my friend on Facebook, chimed in and said, man, I've got a pair of cranks. If you're looking for them, you know I am, right? So I can't believe that I'm about to open these and I'm so grateful that you're here watching with me as we kind of open these together. turbo baby oh, 
Sweet. 181. I'd never find these. All the hardware, everything's with it. All right, thank you guys so much for checking out this episode of Unbelievable Grails. Over the next weeks and months, I'm gonna begin building this. Thank you for journeying with me on this. Be sure to like and subscribe to our videos. You'll get all the updates. Check out the links in the description to where we found the bars. And um, man, hey, God bless, man. This is so cool. Thanks for joining me.